Whether you're a student, a CEO, or a gamer, your password is the universal point of basic security. Even those of you out there who say you have nothing to hide, a password is probably still something you want to be secure. So let's subjectively talk about password management with five recommended password managers and two honorable mentions with an emphasis on open source and end-to-end -end encryption. Many of you may not know this, but I'm a huge runner and part of that journey is doing strength work. I recently picked up a MOBO board online for foot strength, but shopping online privately is pretty challenging. To help with this, I use privacy.com for my purchases online. It's a free disposable card generation service that allowed me to purchase this MOBO with disposable payment information. Stick around to the end to learn more about privacy.com and a special promo we're running just for the Techler community. The two basic rules of passwords are to use strong passwords and unique passwords. So if a password is breached on one service, it's not the same credential to gain access to other accounts. The problem is you can't easily memorize and keep track of things based on just memory, especially with hundreds of accounts. This is where password managers come in. Password managers do have some drawbacks, which we cover how to mitigate in our course, Go Incognito. So go check that out in the lesson below if you wanna take your password manager to the next level. Let's dive into password manager five. Abine Blur is not open source, and we don't think it's your best option for strictly password management. However, Abine's selling point is it integrates password management with virtual disposable debit cards, disposable phone numbers, and emails. So if you're someone looking for a centralized and highly convenient platform to do everything in one place regarding aliasing, Abine really has a compelling product. However, again, it is not open source and we feel there are better options on this list if security and data ownership are more important to you than the convenient aliasing features found in Blur. Our next option is Spectre, previously known as Master Password, an ingenious password manager as there is no password manager, stored passwords, data, or really anything. Spectre relies on you memorizing some basic information about an account, which the Spectre algorithm uses to generate a password when you enter it. If you remember this information, then it'll generate that same password on any device without needing to ever install a program. This is a bit easier than memorizing a long, complex password or passphrase yourself for each account, but it still is a bit nerve-wracking to use, considering there is no like tangible password manager. From a security point of view, there's nothing to even break into here but it does require some mental energy and there is room for human error. Very, very cool concept, though definitely not for everyone. Number three is Nextcloud. Now, Nextcloud can be used with many different password managers, both inside the Nextcloud ecosystem, like Passwords and Passman, as well as other external password managers that can be synced via Nextcloud. Without getting too far into the rabbit hole, if you're already using Nextcloud and you're happy with it, don't miss out on some of the options available to you here that are not only FOSS, but self-hosted on your own Nextcloud server. Side note, but don't forget to set up end-to-end -end encryption on your Nextcloud servers if you're going this route. Option two is a popular name and it's Bitwarden. Bitwarden is open source with a super generous free plan for its users. If you want a traditional password manager experience found in services like LastPass and Dashlane, but through an actual trusted service that is open source and values you and your data, this is it. Bitwarden has fantastic compatibility with all major operating systems and integrates extremely well with each OS and its browsers. It's free and easy to set up, so like give it a shot and see if you like it. There's really no risk. There's not much negative things to say about it, and many people really seem to enjoy Bitwarden. Before covering our top password manager, our first honorable mention is the physical world. Pen and pad. Even though we'd argue it isn't as secure as a password manager, it's likely still better than using the same password across different services. There are some books designed for this, but really any piece of paper will do. One thing, we do not recommend writing the actual passwords out, but maybe code that you would understand and convert easily so that if someone finds the paper, they don't just have access to all of your accounts. You can also attempt to ditch the paper and memorize your passwords by using passphrases and coming up with a methodology to develop one for each site. But but if you're doing this anyway, you might as well just use Spectre, the service we covered earlier. Honorable mention two are the more normy password managers that aren't as bad as the others. First is 1Password, which genuinely has top-notch security and a fantastic team behind it that really knows what they're doing. It isn't open source, which is why the privacy community tends to avoid it, but it is a good service. The second option we reluctantly propose to you is Apple's Keychain. Keychain is open source and end-to-end -end encrypted, and it integrates incredibly well with the Apple ecosystem. 
We recommend the other options on this list over Keychain and 1Password, but if your choices are weak passwords or these two, we urge you to at least start with those two. They really are the only two normie password managers we would recommend to people from a privacy and security perspective, but we still recommend you try to move beyond them if you can. And finally, our top password manager may be pretty expected from many of you, and it's KeePass. KeePass is open source and completely local by default. It's also an open standard, so you'll find countless KeePass clients in all shapes and sizes to accommodate your individual needs. KeePass has infinite possibilities. You can set up key files to essentially function as 2FA, you can use it with hardware keys, you can keep it entirely local, you can even keep your database on a flash drive and keep it on you everywhere, or you can cloud seek it with Google Drive, you can use Nextcloud, really anything. We have an entire tutorial diving into KeePass. The cons to KeePass are it doesn't cloud sync by default, meaning if you want that or need that, you need to configure it to do that. Also, it doesn't have a central client and a traditional account setup. You just have this encrypted database file, meaning you have to choose clients for each device you use and figure out a way to keep track of them. KeePass is the furthest thing from a central unified experience, which is its biggest pro and con, depending on who you're talking to. Regardless, it's our favorite password manager. We urge everyone to try it out and see if it works for their needs. Privacy.com is how I do much of my online shopping and I cannot recommend it enough. You can generate single use burner cards, set monthly limits, label and assign uses for each card and more all through their completely free service. Yes, it's free. Even better, we're running a campaign with them to give you $5 when you sign up. I cannot recommend this service enough for those of you looking to keep your payment information safe online. It's my go-to service. Click our link in the description to get started with privacy.com and claim this offer today. So how do you handle passwords? What's your favorite password manager? Let us and the world know in the comments. If you enjoy our content, check out our support methods like our Patreon down in the description. We also accept PayPal and Monero and many other forms of uh, donations and other things that you can do to support us. We will see you next time on TechLore. Thank you for watching. Yeah.